if you are considering making Canada your new home in 2024 or even 2025, you are in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to break down the top 10 cities in Canada for new immigrants. This is based on my experience and talking to other people who have moved to most of these places. These cities offer you job opportunities, support services, diverse cultural experiences, and strong community ties. So stay tuned as I guide you through the best options for settling down in this great white north. Canada is known for its welcoming nature and diverse culture. But with so many great cities to choose from, how do you decide where to settle? Canada continues to be a popular destination for new immigrants, offering numerous opportunities for career advancement, cultural enrichment, and high-quality life. However, the immigration process has become more selective, focusing on specific skills and profiles. One crucial aspect for newcomers is choosing the right city to settle in. Today, I will delve into the 10 cities in Canada that are ideal for new immigrants due to job prospects, support services, cultural offering, and even strong community ties. Number one is Toronto, Ontario. Toronto stands out as one of the most diverse cities, providing a wide range of employment opportunities in finance, technology, healthcare, and education. This city offers numerous support programs for newcomers, including settlement services, language training, and cultural communities to help you integrate. Toronto has a vibrant neighborhood and bustling urban life, making it a welcoming environment for new immigrants. That's why you see that a lot of new immigrants who move to Canada would like to settle in Toronto because there, there's buzzing opportunities for it's more like the center of all the activities in Canada. And there you are going to interact with people from different cultural backgrounds. So if you are looking to move to Canada, Toronto might be one of the cities that you would like to at least look at. If you want to pursue a career in either finance, technology, healthcare, or even education, Toronto might be the destination for you. Next on our list, we have Vancouver, British Columbia. Vancouver is renowned for stunning landscapes, thriving business sectors, and cosmopolitan atmosphere. The city boasts of industries like technology, film production, tourism, and international trade, providing plenty of job opportunities. With a strong support system like community centers, language schools, Vancouver helps immigrants feel like at home. So if you are somebody who wants to pursue a career in technology, film production, tourism, or even international trade, Vancouver might be the best destination for you to look at if you choose to move to Canada. And especially with their stunning landscapes, there's so much to look and do and so much activities for you to do. You have the whole Vancouver at your beck and call. Third on our list is Montreal, Quebec. Montreal offers a rich cultural heritage in bilingual setting. The city has a diverse economy with sectors such as aerospace, gaming, pharmaceuticals, and artificial intelligence. Montreal's vibrant has seen numerous festivals and electric neighborhoods create an inviting destination for newcomers. And if you are somebody who is bilingual, Montreal might be the best destination for you because when you get there, almost everybody either speaks French or English. Because if there's one thing that you have to know, Canada is a bilingual country. So they speak both French and English. But if you go to Montreal, you are bound to meet more people who are speaking French. And if you want to practice your French, Montreal might be the destination for you. So if you are looking to pursue a career in like aerospace, gaming, pharmaceuticals, or even artificial intelligence, then I would advise that you might, it might be good for you to at least head to Montreal if you plan to come into Canada this year and over next year. And for me personally, my experience in Montreal was very good and I even considered possibly moving there because I really enjoyed my stay there. It was very welcoming, there was so much to do and so much to enjoy. And as an immigrant, Montreal felt more welcoming and I feel it to be a good destination for newcomers who are coming to Canada. Coming in fourth is Calgary, Alberta. Calgary is known for robust energy sector, encompassing oil and gas 
along with emerging industries like technology, finance, and healthcare. The city's strong economy, high quality of life, and inclusive communities make it an attractive option for immigrants. Calgary's outdoor activities and family-friendly environment are additional perks. So if you are somebody who wants to pursue a career in the oil and gas sector, it will be advisable for you to head to Calgary, Alberta. If you are somebody who has plans of possibly doing something in technology and you love outdoors and family friendly environment, Calgary Alberta might be the destination for you because that robust energy sector is growing and a lot of people are even heading to Alberta now. Even people who have moved to Canada long ago and now trying to settle or build family, a lot of them are heading to that area because it's a growing area and it has a robust energy sector which means there's so much to do and there's so much career opportunities there in the oil and gas sector faith is edmonton alberta that's another city also in alberta edmonton has a strong economy with such sectors as oil industry healthcare and engineering the city provides affordable housing excellent educational institutions and various resources to help newcomers settle. Edmonton's diverse community and numerous events and festivals will make it a welcoming place for you as a newcomer. There is another destination in Alberta. In addition to Calgary, Edmonton is another place that you can also head to if you are coming to Canada and you want to pursue a career either in oil and gas, healthcare, or even engineering because that area is buzzing and if you go there, there are so many career opportunities for you to pursue. And even before you land, you can even start exploring opportunities in these areas and applying for those jobs so that you can get that soft landing and you don't have to now land before you start looking for jobs. Next up is Ottawa, Ontario. As Canada's capital city, and I know most of you are surprised to hear that it's the capital city of Canada because you thought it was Toronto. As Canada's capital city, Ottawa boasts of stable economy supported by government establishments, tech firms, research hubs, and healthcare facilities. The city offers language training, job opportunities, and settlement services to help immigrants integrate. Ottawa's cultural offerings, green spaces, and family friendly amenities make it an attractive destination. So, if you are looking to pursue a career, possibly in governance or trying to get a job in the government sector, Ottawa might be the destination for you. For those of you who are trying to pursue careers in those areas, especially in the government sector, it will be advisable to head to Ottawa because there will be so many opportunities for you in those areas because that's where most of the government establishments are and there are tech firms and research hubs, including even healthcare facilities in that area. So there will be so much opportunities for you to pursue if you head there. The seventh on my list is Mississauga, Ontario. Just next to Toronto, Mississauga offers a welcoming environment with diverse opportunities in finance, IT, logistics, and healthcare. Immigrant communities thrive here thanks to robust services, educational institutions, and strong support system. Its proximity to major transportation hubs enhances its appeal. So if you are looking for a career in finance, IT, logistics, or even healthcare, it would be good to consider Mississauga. It's close to Toronto, but at least it's not as busy as Toronto. So if you want, uh, what I would say, Toronto, but not the business, you might want to head to Mississauga and try and explore those opportunities there because those areas finance it and logistics are buzzing in mississauga it is winnipeg manitoba and that is where personally i am now and where i chose when i decided to come to canada manitoba offers affordable living environment with growing career opportunities in manufacturing healthcare agriculture and technology the city extends support through various organizations language programs and employment readiness initiatives tailored for immigrants. Winnipeg's vibrant art scenes, lively festivals and affordable housing makes it a great choice. This is one of the reasons, some of the reasons why some of us chose Manitoba, that's Winnipeg 
as our destination when we decide to come into Canada because it has a vibrant art scene and there's career in manufacturing and technology even though most people tell me that Winnipeg is more of a, a supply chain hub so most people who want to pursue careers in supply chain thrive here there is still a buzzing scene for manufacturing jobs healthcare agriculture and even technological jobs ninth i have halifax nova scotia halifax combines coastal charm with growing economy driven by technology marine industries healthcare and education the city provides excellent support services for immigrants and present opportunities for studying business and finding employment. Halifax beautiful coastal setting and close-knit community attracts those seeking peaceful yet vibrant lifestyle. So if you are one of those who seek that coastal setting but still wants your peaceful yet vibrant lifestyle, it will be advisable to head to Halifax, Nova Scotia. And if you also want to pursue a career in technology, or even marine industries and even healthcare, Halifax might be the destination for you. If you don't want the buzzing life of Toronto, it would be nice to consider Halifax, Nova Scotia. Finally, number 10 is Saskatoon. That's Saskatchewan. Saskatoon offers a strong economy with sectors like agriculture, mining, technology, healthcare, and even education. The city will provide you with affordable housing family-oriented neighborhoods, and even accessible community support systems, making it easier for immigrants to integrate. Saskatoon's vibrant cultural events and recreational opportunities create an inclusive atmosphere. So if you are somebody who wants that inclusive atmosphere, Saskatoon might be the destination for you. If you want that city with affordable housing, but still have family-oriented neighborhoods, then Saskatoon might be the destination for you. We always advise that not everybody should head to those big cities. There are cities out there. Pick one that suits your need, one that is aligned with your career, one that is aligned with your goals, your long-term goals, and settle there. Because no matter the city you go to, every single city has what something to offer you. So pick the right one. Don't just head to a city because a friend of you went there or you know somebody there. Pick one that is aligned with your long-term goals. These top 10 cities offers a range of options tailored to meet the needs and aspirations of new immigrants arriving in Canada in 2024 and even 2025. With all these changes that are happening, it will be nice to pick from at least one of these 10 cities. Each city provides unique advantages in terms of job prospects, settlement assistance programs, cultural richness, and quality of life standards. Whether you are looking for a bustling urban environment or a peaceful coastal setting, there is a perfect place for you in Canada. Canada is very big, even though it has a very small population. So it's big enough to accommodate everyone and anyone. Thank you for watching. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe to my channel for more insights on living and thriving in Canada. Let me know in the comment section which city you are considering and we'll see you in Canada soon. Until then, cheers.